At 6'3 and 217 pounds, Atwater patrolled the line of scrimmage like a linebacker or played pass coverage like a defensive back. He shored tackles, saved touchdowns, and created turnovers, while his enthusiastic play drove opponents to distraction. Oh, Water was, water was, was one of my favorites. You want to talk about a dude that just is blatant disregard for his own well-being. The way he hit people, the way he flew around a football field. <laughs> Not only is he a great football player, but he's a, a great guy to have on your team because he's such a super guy and a guy that, that's young and he's just going to get better with age and, and the older he gets, the more of a leader he's going to get. I'm just glad Steve's on my team. Get out of here! If you want to understand what a professional is in the game, it's Steve. Steve don't remember this, but um, when I was in college, I got to come to a Broncos preseason game. And I met Steve Atwater after the game, and I looked up, and I was like, if this dude ever hit me, I'm dead. Something that Kansas City's 260-pound running back, Christian Okoye, found out the hard way on a Monday night at Mile High Stadium. Lock it up, lock it up, lock it up, lock it up, lock it up. In the Kansas City game, I was standing maybe one man away when he made a big hit on, on Okoye, and just the, the sound of that hit fires you up. And all of a sudden, you're like, pow. <laughs> And actually one time in practice, he hit me. And I said, dude, don't you ever hit me like that again. It was interesting, and I, I'll, I'll never forget telling Steve this. I stayed home, I had a, a knee surgery. I think it was probably late the end of the season. I ended up watching the game. And it's funny when you watch it on television and you're part of the team. You know, it's the things you don't ever see. Like when, I, when, when the defense is playing, I never watch the defense. I'm on the sideline, we're going through adjustments, what we want to work on, right? And Steve was flying around, just absolutely snot bubbling dudes, right? Blitz, Atwater makes the hit, is it a fumble? I mean, I was like, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing, right? And I told him, I was like, dude, watching you play was a thrill for me. Take it to the brothers, man, baby. Showtime, baby, showtime in the mile high city. You know, when I came in to, uh, to the Broncos as a rookie, I remember Steve helping me out. And the way he would help me is like in training camp, if he would see something that I was doing, or if I was tipping off the defense to a run, or whether it was my, my, you know, my stance, my alignment, uh, if I was running and I had my head down, he would always come up and say, hey T, you know, keep your head up, or hey, you know, I knew you guys were running this play because you were, you know, instead of being over the, you know, in the gap, you were over the, over the, over the tackle. And so he allowed me to do some self-evaluating and um, kind of get his perspective from defense. And then just the way he is on the field. I mean, that guy is a leader. You know, he's a huge presence on defense, imposing figure, um, and has done it for a long time. But I think more importantly, Steve Atwater as a human being, as a, as a person, is, you can't get no better than that. The nicest human on the planet, and one of the most genuine people I've ever been around. Steve just moved back to Denver, and so, my family, Steve, family, very close. We spent Thanksgivings and stuff together. You know, to have him as a friend now, uh, just so close, and I can still go to him and get advice from him. And, and it just, you know, just uh, it's just great to have him as a part of my life.